Okay, so uh, this is going to be uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and uh, Leo Rising weekly tarot reading for May twenty seventh to uh, June second, two thousand and nineteen. And bear with me a second, guys, to uh, to shuffle the tarot cards, and uh, we can go straight away uh, to the spread. Oops. Right. So <clears throat> the first card, which represents uh, Leo's topic of the week, that is going to be the Two of Cups, followed by the second one, which stands for the challenges <clears throat> that Leo are uh, going to have to overcome for throughout the week. That will be the uh, Empress. Third card here, it is the positive aspect of the week for Leo. That will be uh, the Wheel of Fortune. And the last one uh, that represents the uh, guidance that Taro is offering for Leo, that will be the uh, Knight of Cups. So once again, uh, Two of Cups is the first one, <clears throat> which stands for the topic, followed by the challenges here marked by the Empress card. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspect, which is marked by the um, Wheel of Fortune. And the last one, that represents the guidance here stands as the as the knight of um, of cups. So um, as uh, probably you guys, which you know me, uh, you know that in these general readings, I don't want to lean either toward career or either toward relationship. I'm trying to give you a a possible a possible manifestation of the reading in either of those fields. But here, this one does uh, really look uh, look like more of a um, intimate partnership or more like in a partnership founded on a, a mutual emotional connection if I may express it that way which also could be you know a um, business partnership or a cooperation but that will be because the person likes you okay so uh, the first card that we do have that is the two of cups which is the topic and the topic itself points to a, a very fruitful cooperation that you are to make with another person, basically. That could be, um, you know, um, the emotional attraction you do require, or in other words, where you start flirting with someone and uh, where you uh, together are falling in love. Or as well, it could be the uh, business partnership that you require or a cooperation between you and a co-worker of yours. The thing with the Two of Cups is that this partnership usually um, goes along with rather harmonious, uh, in a rather harmonious fashion, meaning that there won't be many things, if any, that is, that will stand in between, that are to create gap, excuse me, in between you and the other participant into the, uh, into the enterprise. The thing with the Two of Cups, though, is that you may be a little bit shy to take on this um, cooperation I will uh, classify it so uh, throughout this week it will be or a little bit more proud all right so uh, a good advice for throughout the week is that you leave your shyness and pride on the shelf and try to empathize more with uh, with people and especially with this person uh, we do have the uh, ace of wands here as a um, catalyst the formation it is a, a passive enemies and the only thing that the ace of wands here tells us is that you already know the person all right that this is not going to be someone new that comes around but it will be someone that you already know so if they if we're talking about a, a romance here it will be with someone that you so-called friend until this very moment you know if it's going to be a partnership it will be with someone that you already know or obviously if it's cooperation with co-workers you already know them Okay, but definitely we're talking about a cooperation or, you know, a, a mutual experience with someone that you already know. So the next card that we do have here, it is the uh, challenges. And remember when I said uh, the uh, with the problem with the two of cups is the pride and the shyness. Well, the, the Empress here points that you are uh, on on the initial state of this cooperation or the opportunity to make a cooperation, you are to feel yourself a little bit more reluctant or uncomfortable, if I may express it that way, to participate into it. Straight away, an example of person who you take as a very good friend, you know, um, divulged in front of you that they have feelings for you, right? 
So at that point, as you take them as a, uh, a good friend of yours, you are to feel a bit more uncomfortable knowing this time around, you know, that they take you more as a friend. Now, as a challenge, the Empress here urges you to withdraw from the situation itself a little bit, you know, just stop seeing this person, for example, for a couple of days, if this is, uh, if the example I'm giving you uh, match with your situation, and uh, try to analyze the situation itself so you can take a, a mature decision regarding it. Because with the Empress here, you need to know that what you say as a decision is going to be final, meaning that if you say, let's say to a, to a co-worker of yours that you don't want to cooperate, they won't come back to you any longer, all right? Or if you say to this business partner, I don't want to make business with you, they don't, they, they're not going to come back any longer. Same goes with, uh, the, uh, with the friend, if that is your situation as well. If a friend of yours mm, divulged that they actually love you and you say, no, I don't, well, you will not have a chance to fix that, all right? Your word is going to be final. So you need to... Uh, <clears throat> You need to keep that in mind. And uh, the accompanied card here, that will be the Two of Pentacles. Uh, the formation, it is a passive supporters. And it seems that that, uh, that thing, you know, this uh, revelation, uh, it will occupy your mind. You are going to think about it for a lot of time. Uh, you will take it as a big deal. And as long as this thing remains unsettled and unsolved, uh, it will be very difficult for you to focus on different stuff. So if a, a friend of yours, you know, um, <clears throat> tells you that they love you, uh, it will be, that, that will occupy your mind and you will, you will find it very difficult, you know, to focus on your job, on your family, for example, or on other friends of yours until you actually solve that matter and settle it. But once again, it's important to do it uh, in a mature fashion. Therefore, you know, withdraw from a, a couple of days, maybe just only one day, you know. It's, uh, it's quite a mandatory for you to just analyze um, the situation. And uh, at the end, you are pretty humble in regard to uh, what decision you are to make. Although these cards here, as the next one, we are approaching the next one, are advising you to truly take on the opportunity because the Wheel of Fortune points the this uh, this <clears throat> uh, uncovering, if I may express it that way, uh, will actually put a, a a very pleasant or is are going is going to force you in a very pleasant change, if I may express it that way. As a matter of fact. Uh, that thing is going to be a an awesome opportunity for you to stir your situation so if you are single you know that will be the opportunity you are waiting to stir your situation being with someone or to be a uh, lucrative into your career by cooperating yourself with either a business partner or a, a a co-worker so the whole point here guys leos is that at the start as the uh, enterprise present itself to you you may not find it either uh, rightful, you know, or, or righteous. You may not find it uh, completely falling into the framework of your uh, understanding and code of conduct. And that's why you need to think about carefully what you are denying here. Not not much of a what you are accepting, but much of a what you are denying. Because with the Wheel of Fortune, like I said, this is the positive card. And it says that that will be once in a lifetime opportunity for you. The accompanied card here, that will be the uh, Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands, uh, in this case... Uh, shows that you are you're not gonna find it difficult to do what is uh, what is needed in order to make that cooperation work either in regards to career or either in regards to relationship as a matter of fact you um you are gonna be once you tra once you traverse the threshold of the initial reluctancy here you are to find yourself very enthusiastic and uh, as well enterprising in regards to uh in regards to the endeavor and um <clears throat> It seems that many, uh, it's not like an option available, but uh, I don't know how to say it really in English, guys, but many things that you thought are going to be rather annoying and irritating are going to turn out to be quite exciting. So in reality, at the start, you don't have that clear perception what you're getting involved in yourself at. And that's why, once again, you will need to uh, withdraw and uh, make a thorough ana analysis upon uh, the situation itself. 
And uh, finally, it is the Guidance. And we do have the Knight of Cups here. So you have a decision to make. Is this week you are going to make a choice or, or you are going to make a sacrifice or you are going to experience loss? And I'm speaking figuratively because um, sacrifice is when you make a decision, right? So you decide in one thing in favor of another. So, for example, you decide to be in a relationship and you're sacrificing your freedom as a, uh, as a life of singularity, all right? You sacrifice your singularity in career for being in a cooperation with someone else. Or you will decide that to be a loss. Or in other words, this decision to be taken for you by the universe, if you prefer that way. So this is what the Knights of uh, Cups here advises you. While it is good, you know, to take your time and to thoroughly anal uh, analyze the situation, ultimately you need to make your decision instead of trying to postpone it indefinitely. Additionally to that, the Knights of Cups asks you not to rely on any luck and any um, fortunate circumstances that are to appear, that is, because you do have the means necessary in order to force those uh fortunate circumstances so you are going to get exactly what you're working for throughout this uh, throughout this week the accompanied card here that will be the ten of um, the ten of wands the formation here is the passive enemies that we do have and um, it does look like that once you realize that at the end everything depends on you in a sense of making a decision once you make the, that decision you will feel how a very big um stone have been dropped off your chest like a big burden have been uh, have been dropped off your chest and uh, finally you know you don't have to move along with a certain standards and certain code of conduct but you can build up your future through that cooperation according to your personal image so that being said, Leos, I know that it was kind of like a broad reading, uh, but it's uh, sometimes, you know, as a general reading, the cards could refer to many, many different stuff. But just to summarize all that, uh, how I do believe that this is going to unfold, I do believe that we are talking about a um, business cooperation that has a potential to unfold into a, a romantic endeavor as well. As just uh, what my immediate impression was but we had to get that reading professional and it's not about my personal impression it's about what the card says you know and they can say many many things and my job is to trans translate as many things as possible so yeah that being said this was your weekly tarot reading i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, we are going to see each other around until then bye